Exploring the frontiers of the mind-body connection, Deepak Chopra's Quantum Healing, as shown here, is a recommended self-help book for people who are interested in hearing about the topic from an experienced MD. Quantum, or changes, refers to the leap that a patient takes when they're able to discover the mind-body connection and take their treatment to its maximum potential and beyond. In this text, we can see a variety of mind-body connections explored, all the way from people being healed of their cancers just by putting themselves into a deep state of rest and coming to terms with it, and conversely, people who have suffered from tumors for years, unbeknownst, all of a sudden find out about their tumor and this knowledge kills them within months. The underlying concept in this book is that the body knows how to maintain balance. Unless it is thrown off by disease, it wants to restore itself with its own healing ability and it will do everything to bring itself back into balance when thrown off by disease. But how far can consciousness go in its aid to healing and what is it that helps the body know? We learn that despite the theoretical decline of our brain power with old age, as we lose millions of neurons a year, about 18 actually, we're forming new dendrites. And these are the branches that connect nerve cells to each other. So we are still solidifying connections between pieces of information, solidifying them, um, these themes, these trends, grouping them together to prevent memory loss. Is this what it is that's helping our consciousness aid in healing? I don't know. Maybe it's something else. Many years ago, we used to believe in something called a homunculus. Before modern science, this was what we thought was inside of our hearts, a little driver who operated us, and he bridged the gap between the mind and the body. But when cadavers were used to divulge such information from the human body, it was not to be found. So Chopper argues that perhaps there's still something like a driver. There needs to be something there, but it's become something much more abstract than the homunculus or even the brain. He is something built into the intelligent power that motivates us to live, to move, and to think. All in all, he argues for self-care because if we are good to ourselves, our homunculus or driver, so to speak, will be good to us in return. He's hailed as the poet prophet of alternative medicine and offers a new insight to medicine as it's typically practiced here. And I think you should order this online today to find out for yourself or subscribe to my channel for more interesting book reviews like this one.